Alright, hello guys, it's uh, 2.45 in the morning, and I just remembered that I was going to make a video about this, and then I got distracted, and oh well, here goes. So, past this past week, I was going through my RSS feed on Google Alerts, all that, I did a previous video about that, and then I got down to uh, my tour section, you know, you can type in tour and it can tell you all the stuff that's going on with tour and all of this stuff and I came across this really kind of alarming yet interesting page that was how your mouse movements can be used but check you on the tour network so if your own fingers may be betray you on the tour network thanks to a new tracking technique and I thought wow that's that's kind of scary but you know, I need to figure out what this is, and need to get on top of this, right, so, I click, it brings me to this page, and there's like, there was like seven or eight of them, it's all like the same story, but it's all over the internet, so I guess a bunch of people have probably seen it by now, but, so, basically, if you want to go to this site, and you can read all of this, but I'll kind of summarize it. And see, this guy, he created, uh, let's see, what was it, uh, something called an Uber cookie. So it, uh, it's a regular cookie, apparently. Just, and it gets put in your, uh, local storage or whatever by, uh, in the Tor web browser. And it can use it to absorb hardware data leaked by browsers, which is including when you use the mouse wheel and how fast you're using the mouse wheel and it can track your mouse movements by uh, this this code uh, crap, I can't remember what it's called I mean I can't remember what the, the name for it's like some kind of form event ID or something like that anyway what that basically allows it to do is how fast you're moving your mouse, time between clicks, um, mouse wheel, all this, how much you use it, how fast. And I'm like, you know, that's that's actually really smart. But still, I mean, I don't. The whole point of Tor is to not be tracked. You know, you don't want to to let some some person who's trying to use it to circumvent censorship from their government to their government being able to track them down and all of that nasty stuff so it's like there's a upside and downside is like the upside is if anyone's doing anything shady on the, the dark net or anything like that then I guess they could also use that to track it but and there's also the downside or regular people who aren't doing anything wrong they just either have a really hard and uh, strict government doesn't like them doing whatever or what not whatever your reason is for tour then that's uh... that's n most of the time not a good thing so as I'm going down through this thinking about it thinking about it I'm like I'm not completely 100% sure if this would solve the issue altogether, but the, here's the best way I came to uh, get around this, like a workaround, you know, it goes down through here, Tor does a great job, people have been using Tor for years, it doesn't mean that you're completely invincible, of course, thanks, we know that now thanks to the Silk Road, but uh, you go down and uh, go look through this, it uses mouse movements, wheel, and all that, and then you think, well, all those are settings that can be changed. You go into the mouse settings, you go down to the start menu and type in mouse, you can go up here, and then it'll let you change your double click speed, your uh, wheel, how many lines it does at a time, and how fast it is. So, I'm guessing, like, I haven't tested any of this at all with their Uber cookie or whatever. Honestly, I couldn't get the Uber cookie to work. It never really gave me any results except a hardware CPU score. 
which I guess is like a CPU benchmark or something. I mean, that might be enough itself, but that only really limits it to people who uh, have the same CPU and uh, everything as you. And if you leave your CPU at base clock, then that's like everybody else who has that CPU. It doesn't account for overclocking or anything. But anyway, here you can change your your mouse speed. Obviously, you don't want it this freaking slow. You have to pick the mouse up off the desktop to keep it from running off the desk. So you don't want it that slow, but still, I mean, if it's right here in the middle or right there in the middle, then you could like maybe take it down a few notches, like make it maybe noticeably slower or noticeably faster. Just, you know, you have to kind of adjust to whatever. Faster, I guess, for me is probably better because my mouse surface is kind of small. So, you know, move it less, it gets around more, all that. I uh, just kind of like it about right there. So, you can do that. And again, it uses mouse wheels, so vertical scrolling. You can tell it how many lines you can tell it to scroll 10 lines at a time and then it'll be maybe a little bit faster this should at least take out the hardware aspect of it where it's uh, telling the computer how many lines at a time that it skips for one notch on the mouse wheel so it, you can go all the way down to one and then you can go like I guess the whole page if you wanted to, but you might as well just use space for that anyway. So you do that. You can also set it to one screen at a time. I'm guessing that's kind of the same thing as spacebar. You just uh, like do the net mouse wheel once, and then it automatically pages down for you. Maybe. Yeah, that's what it does. So you just do one notch at a time and you can do that. So, and this isn't something to use like all the time, all the time, or it really won't make a difference. You know, you want to, it might be a little troublesome. I mean, unless somebody makes some kind of software to do this, but like every time that you go off Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever and you load up Tor, or probably before you load up Tor, somewhere between when you're using Tor and using the other one, then you want to come in here and change this stuff so that it's only associated with this tour and they can't link it to your uh, clear net or anything else that can be related back to you or cross referenced towards you so um, this, this is the best way that I found so far and really all this well most of this other stuff like this visibility is just what you see on your computer it really doesn't have anything to do with what's the uh, hardware or anything. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just thought that was um, alarming yet interesting that they can do that. It, like I said, it is pretty smart, but still, it's like, uh, I don't know. People might actually start using this, and of course, they just now figured this out. They're probably going to be developing it, refining it, and anyway, you want to try to get a little bit head on it. You can go and see the, the proof of concept, see how it works there, and get a demo on it and all that. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have right now. I just figured I'd better go ahead and make the video while uh, I could remember it. You know, get kind of, oh, we're going to go research this, and oh, I want to play this, and oh, I want to watch this show, and you know, kind of all over the place, and then somewhere at 2.45 in the morning, it's like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I should go make a video on that. You know, let's do that. So, yeah, anyway. do lot, Try to do lots of variety of stuff. I um, have a wide variety of interests, so you know, I'm going to try to bring that onto the channel as the time comes and as I'm made aware of it, you know. So, uh... Yeah, definitely uh, like it, dislike it, leave comments, all that good stuff, and subscribe, yay!
Yes, please subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I make a new video so you can come watch it. I mean, you don't obviously have to watch it, but you know, I might do some pretty interesting stuff that you're all going to be on top of. So, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, later guys.